Hi, I'm Michael. I'm a freelance 3D artist and I've just finished my work on this Undo Art teaser. I will cut straight to the point because Time is money, friend. I have created this video to show you some of the scenes and assets and also to give you some insight about the process behind the project like this. I will be back in a minute and let's see it. I hope that you enjoyed this behind the scenes edit and if you want to see the full teaser you can check the description of the video. Now I will tell you how I got involved in this project. In Czech Republic where I come from there is a 3D artist with online pseudonym Hurricane and he has been creating fun trailers for WoW for over 10 years right now. Recently Blizzard actually hired him and he made for example this journey trailer for Wrath of the Lich King that you may have seen. He is also a co-owner of a VFX studio here in Prague and they hired me for the teaser and gave me responsibility for it. Hurricane took care for the creative aspect and he also handled the communication with Blizzard. He also prepared a previous for me, which is a next step after having a storyboard. It's basically an animated storyboard. You can imagine it like a simplified scene assembled from in-game asset and with animated camera. The main point of having a previous is that you can imagine how the final result will look and more importantly the client can imagine it. So client can give you any feedback and he will work it into the previous and when the previous is approved, you can move further to the next steps. Then I moved to the beauty phase, which is the most time consuming part of the job and it was my responsibility. In a nutshell, it's about making all of the shots as good looking as possible within the time given. I had to remake all of the scenes and models to the more cinematic quality while still keeping the original design from the game. So in the edit you just saw, I always showed you the original model from the game and then the polished one. I remade all of the models in Blender and as there was no time for retexturing everything, I actually remodeled everything without breaking the UV maps. So I could then use the original textures with some AI upscaling and then created some PBR textures like roughness, normal map and etc. I also heavily relied on the procedural shaders to get for example damaged edges and dirt in the corners without any manual texturing. Another challenging part of the job was getting the desired look of every shot. That is mostly done with lighting, setting the shaders correctly, adding atmosphere and also some effects like smoke, particles, fire, etc. This shot is actually a good example of that. You could see in the edit how with every layer it's getting a bit closer to the final result. In most of the shots I made the atmosphere with compositing in DaVinci Resolve. I used the Z-Depth Pass and few times I used the actual volume. Because with real volumetrics, the light just looks more natural and without it everything seems very sharp. As you probably know, volumetrics in Blender take long time to render. But actually I found few tricks that allowed me to use them for a few scenes. For smoke, particles and fire I used plates from a library and I laid them out in a scene, rendered with EV on a separate layer and then composited them with DaVinci Resolve. Making the actual simulations takes way longer than this. This allowed me to make almost real-time changes to get the desired look. Making nice looking CGI shots is always done with multiple versions and with every version it looks a bit better. So having long render times and rendering overnight slows the process a lot. I optimized all of the scenes as much as was in my power and each shot took approximately 1.5 minutes per frame to render on my RTX 3080 Ti desktop. When the deadline was approaching I used a render farm services because it allowed me to work much faster. Okay, that's all for today and I know that I covered everything really briefly. So if you have any question or if you would like to see a tutorial about anything that I've mentioned today, you can let me know down in the comments and I will either answer you or I will consider creating a tutorial about that topic. I would like to create more videos like this, so let me know if you liked it and I will consider making more. Okay, goodbye.